And joining us now from California is retired Colonel Brandon Kearney, Chief of Staff for U.S. Marine Corps Forces Europe in Germany. Thanks very much, uh, Colonel Kearney, for joining us here on TRT World. Now, to start off, I just want to get your thoughts on this partial Russian uh, oil ban that has been approved by uh, the European Union. Now, this is what I wonder. Over the past uh, few months, the EU, and in fact, the West, has imposed sanctions after sanctions uh, on Russia. But tell me, what good has it, uh, have it, has it done in containing uh, Russia's attacks on Ukraine? Because certainly the attacks are still continuing. You're absolutely right. The attacks are still continuing, and it highlights the problem with economic sanctions in that they're very, very easy to go ahead and implement. You get an agreement amongst countries, and you make an announcement, and uh, uh, you've got sanctions. The problem is that their, their ability to actually affect something requires a significant period of time. Now, we're starting to see with the Russian economy, with some of their problems, that the initial sanctions have taken some impact on onto Russia. But these new ones are going to take, uh, you know, weeks, if not months, to really impact the Russian economy. And even then, with full full impact, I don't think it's going to cut back on Russia's war-making capability at all. Okay, now I, I, I want to discuss the broader Russian military strategy in Ukraine. It's been uh, more than three months since uh, Russia started to attack uh, uh, Ukraine, while many believe that uh, Russian uh, so-called military operation is not uh, going forward in a successful way. President Putin believes uh, that uh, everything is going according to plan. What are your thoughts? Well, I think his plan has evolved significantly uh, over the last uh, three plus months. Um, you know, we saw initially uh, that very, very broad approaches that were taken by the Russian military, essentially on four axes of advance, uh, primarily aimed at uh, Kiev. Um, that fell apart. They failed. They repositioned their forces starting about six weeks ago, and the con and their emphasis right now is on the Donbass. That is their point of main effort. So Putin's rhetoric has uh, certainly changed uh, based on the situation and his lack of success on the ground. And I think we'll continue to see that. But right now, the focus is Donbass, and that's where they're sending the majority of their, uh, their forces uh, to the detriment of other places where the Ukrainians have been launching uh, some successful counterattacks. So uh, we'll have to wait and see how this continues to develop, but it's really uh, it's turning into a war of attrition. Now, when you say right now the focus is on the Donbass uh, region, is that where the Russians, Russia's so-called military operation ends? Or would you say uh, if Russia uh, is able to capture the whole of Donbass, it, it is going to go beyond this region and try to occupy other territories? You know, I think with the state of the Russian military right now um, and the losses that they have they have suffered, and their inability to provide effective reinforcing military units. I think Russia, and again, this is pure speculation on my part, uh, if they succeed in the Donbass, I think that's their opportunity to go ahead and say, okay, we've won, we've accomplished what we've most re recently said we wanted to do, and uh, we declare ourselves a winner, and uh, let's go ahead and talk about a ceasefire. Um, I just don't see them being in a position militarily to go ahead and, uh, for an example, uh, down by Kyrgyzstan, continue operations heading towards Odessa. I, I just don't see that happening or renewing operations aimed at Kiev. Uh, they simply don't have the military power uh, right now available to do that. So I think the Donbass is a uh, is the reasonable expectation that they have right now to accomplish uh, in terms of uh, any hope of any type of success. All right, Colonel Brandon Kearney, thank you very much for talking to us here on TRT World. Really appreciate your taking out the time.